there is another small thing we need to know about the angles that are formed within a segment. Consider this figure in which chord AB divides the circle into two segments, segment AXB and segment BYA. As we can clearly see, AXB is the minor segment and BYA is the major segment. Now let's draw the angles for each of the segments. Let angle ACB be the angle of segment AXB and let angle ADB be the angle of segment BYA. This is the angle formed in the minor segment and this is the angle formed in the major segment. Look at the figure and think for a moment. Which angle among these two do you think is greater? This one looks greater to some extent. Ok, here's an interesting fact. The angle formed in the minor segment will always be obtuse or greater than 90 degrees. And the angle formed in the major segment will always be acute or less than 90 degrees. Yes, smaller the segment, bigger the angle. I'm not sure if you observed it, but there is a quadrilateral ACBD that is formed with all its four vertices lying on the boundary of the circle. These kinds of quadrilaterals are called cyclic quadrilaterals. And these quadrilaterals have a special property which says that the opposite angles are always supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. Angle ACB and angle ADB are opposite angles, so they add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle CAD and angle CBD are also opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral and they add up to 180 degrees as well. Remember, opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. This helps us to understand one very important property about angles formed in semicircles. In this figure, the chord AB passes through the center O and forms two segments, AXB and BYA. Because the chord passes through the center, we can be sure that the two segments are semicircles. Angle ACB is the angle of segment AXB and angle ADB is the angle of segment BYA. Since the chord passes through the center, we can say that segment AXB will be equal to segment BYA. Because the segments are equal, the measure of the angles formed by them will also be equal, which is why angle ACB will equal angle ADB. Now look at this quadrilateral. Since all the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on a circle, we can say that it is cyclic. And what did we just study about the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral? Yes, they are supplementary. Because the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, we can say that angle ACB plus angle ADB will equal 180 degrees. We just found out that these two angles are equal. It means each of them will equal 90 degrees. And that's why the angle formed in a semicircle is always a right angle.